Thank you, Wayne. Only on nine, a well-loved coach who was badly beaten is now talking about his road to recovery. I'm lucky to be alive. Well, this is the first time 70 year old Meredith Scruggs is talking publicly since that assault in Belmont that put him in the hospital for six months. Our Gaston County reporter Ken Lemon is joining us live in Belmont where prosecutors say a man almost killed Scruggs two years ago. Ken. And Scruggs is still living with some of the side effects of that attack that happened here. He told me he has no memory of what happened that night and that doctors say it may be best that he can't remember. A tear rolled down Meredith Strzok's face as he spoke to me. He was grateful. All the people that prayed for me. Police say in August of 2020, Cal Gray, a mixed martial arts trainer, attacked Suggs on Elm Tree Lane in Belmont. The two men didn't know each other. Last thing I remember was the bright light shining in my eyes. Some, and then after that, I, I can't tell you anything until I woke up. 40 days later. This is the only picture taken during that time that we can share. The 70 year old had broken ribs, a punctured lung, a crack in his skull. He had to have screws and clamps put in his face and he suffered severe damage to some of his organs. He told me all of that was not even the extent of his injuries. He said his medical report from Atrium Health Maine is 6,000 pages and that's just one of the hospitals that treated him. I'm lucky to be alive. He spent 79 days in the hospital, much of it on a breathing tube. I had to learn to walk again. He said he recovered because of the love from his family and former students at East Gaston High, where he retired, coaching mostly swimming and tennis, and also at Piedmont Charter, where he most recently worked. I knew I could do it. I, I, was, I made my, I pushed myself. He was in court last month when a judge ruled that Kyle Gray was mentally competent to stand trial. Gray said this was the result of a road rage incident where he was concerned for his own safety. But Strzok says he has no recollection of what led up to the attack. He can't do this to anybody else. I don't want it to happen to no one else. Now, Gray was out on bond at the time of the attack here. At that time, uh, he was charged with breaking into a man's Charlotte home and assaulting him with a knife. Now he's facing uh, serious uh, felony assault charges, inflicting serious injury, and also facing a charge of threatening a Gaston County judge. Suggs is walking on his own, and he promises to attend all of uh, Gray's hearings. Erica? Yes, Ken, he does appear to be a very strong man fighting his way back. Thank you for bringing us that story.